Hey everybody, welcome back to the third and final hole. We're going over the 18 holes at the TGA at Coral Springs. This is hole 13, Broken Brook. It's a par four, 475 yards. And, you know, this is interesting because you can blast this thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and land somewhere in these trees. But you do have a small chance of getting out to this fairway. So that's, you know, probably just a one in a million shot. Maybe if you're way behind, you go for it. But the safe shot is just to kind of hit a soft, you know, little drive to this fairway area and then attack it. So from here, your second shot, you, you, you're really going for this landing area and then you're going for a birdie in three. So it's really one, two, three. But it's interesting. You can go for a full risk, you know, and try to land here and then go for it, go for it in two. Because you can't reach it from the trees, you know it's three. It's less than three away, so that's the thirteenth broken brook. And the fourteenth is Little J. It's a par five, six hundred seventy-five yards. You got this blast of a drive. You got nice little fairway here, right in the middle. But it, you do have to kind of angle it a little bit, so it's not straight on. And you got water left, and the trees right. If you get that good drive, your second shot. You know, this is interesting because you got to get around this cliff. There's no direct shot to the hole. So your second shot, you're trying to get it, you know, down here, obviously as deep as you can. If you get all the way to the ridge on your second shot, you're going to roll all the way onto the green. If you have a little bit of wind, you know, you could, you could get tremendously lucky and pick up some strokes here. But, you know, probably one, two, three, four, you know, for your birdie. And that's why it's a par five. Little J, the 14th. The fifteenth is Winding Road. This one is this one can be <laughs> despicably uh, difficult uh, because really it's you know there's there's just not a lot of room to miss. You know you, you're hitting short here one, short here two, short here three, then four and and par five. I mean from here one two three four five six. So from here if you're in a good position you can reach the hole and get that eagle. But, um, you know, you're just hitting, you got to just be precise on this one. It's winding road, the 15th of par five. And then the 16th is the Zen Garden. So here's the hole. It's got either sand or water uh, banking it on all sides. So it's the Zen Garden. It's reachable in one. It's a par three. Um, you know, just dead on is the water. So you, you're trying to get, obviously, over that. The, the, this green is really cool. It has the green and that's surrounded by sand. So I guess, you know, kind of depending on the wind, but you have a chance here definitely to get your hole in one. The 16th is a par three Zen garden. Then the 17th, this is a, a Gavin, uh, my son Garcia design, you know, basically imagining a huge mountain or some, you know, large obstacle here that you can't go over. So you got to go around it. So we call this the roundabout. So from the tee box, you can pick your side. If you're righty, you may go this way. Maybe you go this way. But either way, um, you have this, the fairways on the same distance from the tee box on either side. Just this side has water and this side has sand. So I guess you pick your poison. Uh, your first shot is safe here. Second shot is safe here. And then your third shot onto the green. Sounds a lot easier than it actually is, I know, because this is not an easy shot. I mean, you're, you're really squeezing it real precisely in between here to land here on one. And then land here and stop it there on two and then turn in three. So that's the roundabout, the 17th. And then on the 18th, you design it, you come up with it, make it amazing and have a tremendous, uh, you know, just competition with your friends. Let us know how it goes. Tag us, uh, hashtag TGA game. Um, hope you guys have a great time. As you can see, you know, there's 18 holes. There's still so many other options, you know, island greens and all this other cool stuff that you guys see on other courses where you could replicate it and, and, and play them yourselves at home. So just wanted to have this for everybody. Hope you like it. Look forward to your comments, feedback, and, um, and you guys trying it out. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.